hello there welcome back in this video lecture we'll learn how to create spark configuration in jupyter environment and work with it so let's quickly open jupyter lab and let me zoom in here you can see there are two different uh, consoles over here one is python 3 console other one is uh, pyspark uh, environment so if you are not familiar in creating pyspark environment and set up a jupyter on top of that environment i would suggest you to go and check my previous video lecture where i explained clearly how to set up a pyspark environment and set up jupyter on top of pyspark environment you can check the video with the inode description link above now let's open spark environment and create spark session and uh, we are using spark conf class for setting up uh, spark configuration parameters so for that let's import spark configuration which is available in Spy, uh, in pyspark uh, package itself spark on let's import it now let's create a spark session as well builder and uh, app name okay i spark with jupiter notebook now get our create now we have spark handy and let's check the spark parameters and you can see uh, it's a master node and it is taking uh, all the codes which are available in my machine and the master is my local machine itself and i'm i'm i want to make myself clear when i when we are working with this pyspark environment this is purely for learning and development purpose not for production coding or anything so for learning pyspark this kind of setup or this kind of environment is more than enough uh, uh for getting started with your PySpark career or spark career right now you can see that uh, we can check the ui as well over here in the ui we can check the environment and you can see that uh and the master node all all cores which are available in my in my machine have been picked up right so my machine has 16 cores and you can see that all 16 cores have been blocked by this particular jupyter lab now i want to restrict the number of cores which are being occupied or which are being grabbed by this uh, jupyter notebook so for that uh, what we can do we can create a spark conf variable again and uh, create from it can be created from the spark conf class and uh, we can set um, app name also over here uh, like same thing we can set over here and uh, okay what else uh, i can set the master course right set master and in the master i want it to be a local look because it's a local environment or development environment and i want to restrict number of course with four right and uh, even memory if you see the memory it takes only one gb of memory for the uh, it's a default profile it will pick up which is 1 gb of memory for executor right and suppose if you want to set up those parameters as well i want to set up uh, 2 gb uh, for my executor memory so right 2 gb or 4, uh, 4 gb even if it's a driver memory right it's a local machine doesn't make any sense to have multiple executors uh, so let's let's assume we have it right suppose i want to set uh, 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 to set up executor memory, I can use something called spark dot executor dot memory and I can set up with uh, suppose I want to I have 16 GB in my memory in my machine. So I would like to give it with start with 3 GB right any of the parameters which are there in spark can be set over here. It's a uh, even though it is a development environment, you can work with all of the features which are there in the spark. And suppose I want to set up the driver memory as well. It doesn't make any sense to set it, but just I'm trying to show you. We are just learning Spark, right? So we are trying to replicate uh, the production environment as much as possible. That's it. So on driver memory, I would like to create uh, driver memory. I would like to set up for uh, suppose 2 GB, right? And uh, so we have set up this Spark conf variable over here. 
now this spark of spark conf variable has to be passed to the spark session that can be done with a parameter which is there in the spark builder which is config in config you can assign the spark configuration whatever we have created over here and we can set up over there and now i'll run this and have run the spark again and now also you can see that the spark master is still taking all the local all the cores which are available in my machine right why it hasn't changed let's quickly check in uh, in the ui as well right i'll create i'll just open a new link and go to the executor environment and you can still see that the spark master is there and there is no uh, there is no variable or uh, parameter which is referring to the spark uh, executor memory or driver memory so even though the command has been executed successfully it is not replicating right so what is the reason for it so whenever we start this jupyter notebook right whenever a spark session has been created that means a spark session is already in progress it's still running right when the spark session is running you cannot set the spark configuration this spark configuration can be set only during starting of the spark session once the spark session has been established we cannot change the parameters or we, we cannot change the configuration of the spark session once you set these parameters in the environment right you can you have to restart the kernel once the kernel has been restarted whatever commands you executed or whatever uh, spark configuration you have set that configuration will be picked up it, it won't be picked up until you restart your kernel right so for this let's try to go to kernel and i'll do restart kernel and i'll go for restarting of the kernel so now you can see the kernel status is idle and it is up and running let me rerun everything again and now you can see the master is taking only four cores like how we have uh, set over here and to check rest of the parameters which i have set like executor memory and the driver memory we can go into the ui and in the ui spark environment and now you can see that spark executor memory has 3 gb and spark driver memory has 2 gb yeah i understand it doesn't make any sense to have uh, a separate driver memory and executor memory as i said earlier we are just trying to replicate the production environment just for our uh, learning right now uh, we have the spark uh, ready and we can create whatever we want over here right this is how you set the spark configuration not only these parameters you can set all the parameters which are uh, there in the spark all these parameters can be set over in the spark configuration and that spark configuration can be added uh, to the spark session using config variable and control the number of cores and memory which is took in the spark uh, uh, session right so that's it for this video lecture guys and uh, see you in the next video until then happy learning bye